for joining us on Merit Matters, a virtual series highlighting current events, industry experts, and local community engagement. I am your host, Tammy Brooklyn, Principal of Merit Construction, and today I will be discussing our latest campaign, Build What Matters. Please welcome Jeff McGinnis, a member of the Board of Directors from Safe Streets. Thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank I'm you. Super excited to talk to you about something that we're both somewhat involved with, you much more so than than me, but it's something that you introduced me to. And so um, I just want um, everyone to be able to hear more about Safe Streets. Um, but before we do that, will you go ahead and explain to me kind of who you are, what you do, and how you originally became involved with Safe, Safe Streets? Sure, yeah, so so I'm Jeff McGinnis, so I, um kind of a, a native of this area and a local engineer um, run an office for Hewitt Zollers and uh, you and I do a lot of work together and uh, developed a friendship and we um, I, I I've kind of been in the community for I've lived here for 25 years something like that um, somewhere in that neighborhood so um, it's just a it's a it's a you know I'm kind of involved in the community and, and interested in all the things that are going on around here and uh, Raised five kids, all of them adults. Right, and, that's uh, what I was going to say. You you yeah. raised a big family here, so yeah. of course community is important. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, all of them almost live here close. Uh, my daughter lives in Bothell, uh, oh. but they're looking to move down. So, um, so anyway, yeah, we have kind of a vested um, uh, you know roots in this community, and um, yeah, that's me. Okay, and how did you become involved with Safe Streets? Yeah, so so um, I also married into a very large family, and uh, my mother-in-law has been on was on the school board for decades, and mm -hmm. she was involved in Safe Streets and many other groups, and always telling me about it, talking to me about it, and she invited me three years ago, I believe, to the golf tournament. And her, she had an ulterior motive, which was to get me involved with Safe Streets. But she knew I liked golf, so I, I um, participated. And um, it's a it really kind of, fun tournament. It is a fun tournament. It's yeah. a, it's a great format. Those of us I who have, totally agree. It's yeah. even fun for people who aren't really golfers, right. like yourself. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll have to get you out more this next year. So, but <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Um, the, yeah, the format is just—I don't want to talk too much about it—but I'm 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 leading the um, running the golf tournament this year, and it's it's such a great you know those of us who've gone to these six-hour tournaments are just like oh no thank you not one another one, but um, this one's a nine-hole tournament at a Highlands Golf Course, so it's you know it's fun mostly about eating and drinking and more than golf so yeah <laughs> so that's great. Anyway, uh, from there. Um, they asked me if I would be interested in being on the board. And uh, so I took them up on it and that's been two and a half years ago. Uh, this year I'm on the executive committee. Wow. So. So um, tell me more about Safe Streets, kind of what what is their mission? Yeah, so Safe Streets is a 31 year old organization. It, it started kind of when violence was really at a peak in Tacoma. Okay. And the goal was to uh, to 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 slow that down to, to you know, um, ideally, I suppose, stop it, but to at least slow it down. So it um, it started, uh, and I believe the first president was Lyle Kwasim, if I'm if I'm um, remembering correctly. He's still on the board, um, yeah. but it um, you know we got to the point where it got to the point where violence was so bad around here that that the community decided to band together and do something. And Safe Streets was born, and since then um, it has continued to do. Uh, kind of its violence work, and uh, it does that by reaching out to creating and reaching out to neighborhood groups uh, around the city in Pierce County, and um, the the uh, community members really do kind of the heavy lifting, but they work with uh, community outreach um, people from that are members that are uh, pardon me employees of Safe Streets, and um, they kind of mobilize that group to. Um, you know, watch out, get to know one another and kind of look for, um, you know, activity in the area and, um, you know, try to, you know, try try to kind of just, just get the group talking to one another, the neighbors talking to one another. And um, then they'll work with Safe Streets and then Safe Streets is also a liaison to um, the police and sheriff department so that um, 
you know, instead of kind of taxing, continuing to tax the the local police forces that um, for some of the other issues they can work with the um, the community members and, you know, get some of the things done. There's a lot of garbage cleanup. There's a lot of just kind of general, you know, uh, improving of the, the neighborhoods around town. So just I mean, if, if you take the, the people that are invested in the community and they want to be proud of where they live, uh, you know, it makes perfect sense to ask them, you know, join us and and take part in this. Um, and I love that. I think I think um, that's such a great thing. And also to know your neighbors. It is crazy, but so many people don't even know the names of their neighbors. And um, how can we say we're we're building a community if we don't even know the people that live on either side of us? Um, you know, and it's helpful for knowing if someone's sick and needs some help or, you know, it's just so important that we all feel like we're part of something. So I really like that for for both reasons, for the fact that you're getting people involved and having them invest as well, instead of just saying, you know, we we want to take from the um, services as like the police department or the fire department, but rather saying we're going to take control of our community and we're going to we're going to have an impact. So that's very yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. There's a just to add on to that. There's a dinner that occurs. You know, obviously it didn't occur this last year because it's an in-person event, but. Uh, in years prior for all of the volunteers that have helped out and mm -hmm. the room is full of people. I mean, it's a huge group of people, so it's pretty cool to see how many people are willing to step up and help out. Yeah, and I'm sure they take pride in that and being part of that organization and saying, yeah, you know, it, it's it's a fun thing and I'm sure it builds it, it builds on itself outside of safe streets, because right. if even though they're not doing something specific for safe streets, they're still building community. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah. Um, so we're doing um, our, our campaign right now is about building what matters. Mm -hmm. And obviously, from a construction perspective, um, you know that we, you know, we're building buildings. But, you know, in addition to that, it's always really important to us to, to be building things that actually enrich our community and that those places bring hope and bring, um, you know, just a, a positive impact to the community. So I want to ask you, um, you know, because it's true, we work together a lot. We, we, we build a lot of buildings together, um, starting with the, the dirt, which is on your side. Um, but we couldn't do them without you, obviously. Um, so tell me, what is uh, Safe Streets doing right now to build what matters? Sure, sure. So I, I, I'll start out by saying that um, one of the reasons I, I, I like your company so much is because you are involved in the community and you are interested in more than just the construction of the project. You're, in, in, you're interested in the construction of the community and the building of community. I think that's super important and it, it, I think it sets you apart. I really, I really uh, appreciate that. Um, as far as what they're doing, um, what Safe Streets is doing to um, build what matters, the, I think that the, the thing to look at is not just their community connections, but particularly their youth connections and mm -hmm. the ways that they are trying to bring up youth to be uh, to be responsible and contributing members of the community. Uh, they have a group uh, youth leading change, which is really um, a fun group to, to kind of observe and be part of. They go into the schools and they find youth in, in various areas and they give them opportunities to to be leaders and they give them opportunities to um, kind of affect change in their circles. Um, they they um, yeah, I've seen some some videos and talked to some of the kids that are involved with um, youth leading change, things like their prom promise, uh, which is it's kind of kind of designed to um, help quell underage drinking and the, the tragedies that can result uh, from underage drinking. Mm -hmm. um, so and they take those kids and they show them how to be leaders and, and kind of bridge community groups. And instead of, you know, there's a lot of, especially in this day and age of social media and the like, there's a lot of bullying and a lot of trouble. But in fact, these kids become kind of bridges, you know, not that doesn't just improve them, but it also improves the other community groups and other kids that they mm -hmm. have access to. Uh, and so that's I think I think that really fits well with your build what matters uh, campaign because it is it is you know it's creating um, 
community members for the future that understand how to br build bridges between groups. Yeah, I, I think that's amazing and I love hearing that. I, I really um, dislike anything to do with bullying and um, I'm all for inclusion, you know, as much as is ever possible. I think that that's such an important part that everyone feel like they're part of something. Um, I love that Safe Streets gives those youth the words and the tools to be able to um, when, when they get in an uncomfortable situation, it helps them learn what to say. So they kind of have that in their back pocket and they know, and not only do they know that for themselves, but they know what to say to other people to help give them an out if they want an out. You know, I think peer pressure can be such a challenging thing to deal with. Um, and especially in the teenage years, it's, it's so hard. And so anything that, you know, we can do to give them the, um, you know, just the things they need to be able to to do what's best for them and what's right um, is awesome. And I agree, there's nothing more tragic than when you hear some of those things, whether it's prom or whether it's graduation um, right. and there's an accident as a result of, of drinking and, um, you know, it, it destroys lives regardless whether you know it's it's the child or it's someone they hit or you know whatever it's just so tragic so that's such an important thing to be teaching um the youth so i think that's great yeah yeah no it's good we have a um we have an annual retreat and of course again this year it was taken off the docket we have an annual retreat where we get to hear everything that all the other groups are doing and and you know all of the groups that are part of safe streets and it's always interesting to be honest the youth leading change was probably the area that I was least interested in in what safe streets is doing but it's the area that impacted me the most when we went to the to the um, retreat because the, the first of all the leaders are awesome there's just the guys that you all your kids would want to be you know want to yeah. be connected with mm -hmm. um, but then the other thing is that um, they just they they are really making a difference. Are the the kids that come out of the um, of that youth for change? Does are those the same kids that are going and being involved with the prom promise? Yes. Yeah. Prom promise okay. was a part of youth leading change. Okay, got so, it. Yeah, so it's so. basically just a, an offshoot, something they do in particular as a group to to affect change. Exactly. Exactly okay. right. Yeah, that was one piece. But they're doing a lot of things. I mean, they are reaching out to community or to uh, to other kids. They are finding ways to, you know, kind of help people become leaders. And um, I I did hear one um, kid say that. He is he was used to because of the kind of the world that he was in and the bullying and those things that he was used to uh, just remaining quiet and kind of just trying to get through the day. But mm -hmm. youth leading change taught him how to, you know, become a leader and instead to try to find the other people that were doing the same thing he was doing, kind of holding themselves up yeah. and get to them and say, let's you know, let's let's go find some. Let's go be part of the community instead of, you know, feeling like we need to hide ourselves away. So mm -hmm. I love that. That's just heartbreaking. Um, I don't I don't know if it's gotten worse. I don't think it was ever easy. High school is never an easy time. Right. Um, but I love that any of these ways that they they just can find um, someone that is willing to reach their hand out to them and just encourage them and um, and be be like join forces with them so that they can you know, feel strong together because when when you feel like you have someone who's supporting you it feels like you can do anything you know if someone believes in you and wants to be your friend so i love right. that that's yeah, yeah. that's fantastic um what what would you think i mean I, i'm we're, we're talking about the youth which we both agree is like such an important part um, of any organization because it's only, you know, a legacy is only a legacy if it if it goes on, if it's carried on in your absence. Right. So, I mean, in my opinion, that's just no, I think you're right. Um, but what what do you hope for the organization for the, for the future? Um, you know, and and how do you see um, that being carried on? Yeah, yeah. So there's there's a lot in answer to that question. Um, you know, I. I I got involved with it. I'll step back one step. I got involved with it because 
it's a it's a kind of a, a it's an organization that's bringing people together from all you know sides of the aisle all parts of life youth and and, and older people and everyone and i do think we need more of that i think that um you know if you sit in on a board meeting or sit in on a on any kind of meeting at the um at the um headquarters you can you, you can hear people that are you know have one type of opinion and other people that have another type of opinion but everybody kind of agrees on what needs to be done it's a great model for i think um you know where a lot of frankly our country should be headed but unfortunately mm -hmm. isn't um and really i think from my hopes for the future for it is that that continues and even continues to grow um we you know we we, we just need as a society we need more groups that are understanding what each other you know the pressures that each other's feeling and we need more groups that that uh, look to reach out to them and bring people together in unison as opposed to dividing and we um, I think safe streets does that that's the the reason I really love the organization and to be honest um, when the when I first got my first glimpse of the board the members of the board I just thought what a neat group of people you know it's just it's uh, you know um, ex vice presidents and senior vice presidents of banks and community organizers and um, it's just a, a great group so um, I hope that that continues and I think that you know um, what I hope for for the future is more engagement from more people um, you know, in the community, people that want to be part of it, people that want to be board members, people that want to just help out and kind of catch the vision of what it's trying to be. Um, that's, I think, the most important thing that we could we could look at for the future. You know, um, I think that as you point out, you know, as if you, you, know, you kind of work with the youth and bring them up, you're building yourself the legacy. And I'd like to see a legacy continue for the organization. Um, so that's that's kind of right. Yeah, I love that. I I wonder if um, there's I, I guess the first thing I wanted to go back to is you talking about um, where we are right now in our nation and conversations that need to be happening where people are listening to understand instead of um, listening to respond or listening to act. Um, it's such a rare thing. Um, and so I love that they're, they're teaching that, that one, they're modeling it. And then two, they're teaching other um, young people to come up and, and learn that. And I do agree with you completely that that's something we all need much more of. Um, and then I guess, I, I wonder if there's something, if there's some way to involve um youth through the ymca or the boys and girls clubs or if you guys have um figured out any kind of a thought process with teaming up with some of those organizations i think um those are both obviously ones that are very important to me and that i'm involved with so um is that something that you guys are able to do or are are doing yeah yeah great question so the answer is yes. I mean, there's always room to do more in an area like this, <clears throat> but the answer is yes. Um, the uh, the school, there's a school board member on it with the intention of being kind of coming alongside the schools. Um, mm -hmm. And we have been uh, in a lot of talks with Metro Parks uh, and uh, recent talks with Goodwill. Um, one of the things that's not typically known about Goodwill is that um, they're a very big um, job retraining you know organization oh, yeah. so that that helps with uh, with particularly with some uh some at-risk youth boys and girls club is not an area that i'm aware of that they've reached out to but i wouldn't be terribly surprised if they told me they had um the executive director priscilla lisicich is very well connected in the community and very well respected for a good reason mm -hmm. um, and so i know she's done a lot of uh, conversation the other one is uh, associated ministries that they've been um, kind of coming along outside and working with. So um, there's, like I say, there's always room um, for more of that engagement between groups, um, but I know that they've done a lot of work over the last 31 years in that oh, area. Oh, no question. It's just like, you know, what, what you're saying, wanting it to continue and wanting it to carry on. I think when you involve more people and you get 
um, you know, somebody from an or another organization to sort of like help feed the amount of kids that are coming in or, hey, this is a special kid and I think that they would benefit and, and they could help Safe Streets as well. You know, there's so many neat kids that come up through those programs. And I've actually, I agree with you, the Goodwill does an amazing job at training people. And I've been involved in the past where uh, they, you help them do an interview. Mm -hmm. They'll call you and say, okay, you know, would you have this person come in and pretend they're doing an interview for you and then give them some feedback. All of those things are, are great. And any way we can grow our kids, I think is, is amazing. Yeah. Um, if if people want to help or if people want to get involved, um, what's the best route for yeah. for that to happen? Yeah, well, I would I would say that um, you know it's interesting that uh, Julia and her last name is Mulligan Neal is um, <clears throat> is a great resource within Safe Streets to just call or email and talk to. She's always full of ideas. Um, in fact, I'll say this: December twenty first. Um, I can't remember exactly what she's calling it, Light Up Tacoma or something like that. There's a there's a a uh, program that she has put together. She's full of cool ideas, and mm -hmm. she put this pro program together. She's giving out paper bags and a uh, an electric candle and candle inside. So the 21st, the darkest day of the year, um, these are these are handed out in order to put um, just put them out that evening and kind of create a little light at you know in the in the late afternoon, early evening. Mm -hmm. um, and she's she's always looking for contributions for that and just uh, people that would want to to do it, those kinds of things. But that stuff like that, and I know this is way off topic from the question you just asked me, but stuff like that, it it you know, you, you kind of wonder, OK, how does that create community? But it does. You know, when you have a group out there that's doing things like that and just kind of paying attention to people and talking with them, you know, the, the process of meeting people and getting these 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 packages into their hands these these packages for the the light up stuff oh, yeah. is it's just important because we have to come together and then there's as we said earlier um you know that's an opportunity to talk to to kind of meet halfway and find common ground uh with each other so anyway the question was how do we get involved so i would talk to julia mulligan -Neal. The other is um, just on the website, safest.org. You know, you can register there to get their emails. You can go and take a look at blogs, and there's a lot of great stories there um, about, you know, kids and about community groups that have all been kind of positively affected from Safe Streets. So, and it's a cool website URL, safest.org. So that's super helpful, and I I feel like. Um... I feel like we we need to work hard to get the word out. I think that they are doing a lot of great things and I love Julia is absolutely fantastic and I love working yeah. with her. Um, and she is a light and she, yeah. and she is um, you know I think something like what what she's doing on the 21st is like it's recognizing not just in the people that we're already involved with but that the community is down that it's difficult right now and the whole idea of um, bringing light on the darkest day is like hope in action. Right. And I love that um, Julia and Safe Streets, they don't sit idly by when they feel like there's, there's you know, darkness. They're like, what, what can we do to bring light here? And I think that that's, that goes back to the original reason for um, starting Safe Streets you know, it's the darkness, it's the violence, it's those things. And whether that's actual darkness or just a darkness in people that can come, I think that's what Safe Streets does, is it brings light to the darkness. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. Um, I just have to give one more shout out to Julia. She, I, I, she, she is such a huge boon to that organization and would be to any organization. Um, you know, to listen to her kind of, kind of rattle off ideas you're like geez this is <laughs> this is golden you know these these are great so and i would i would give a shout out to the whole organization as the um uh you know we had to cancel the tournament as you know the golf tournament last mm -hmm. year and um the the lunch was obviously um also changed to an online event but as a result they decided hey why don't we do a drive-in theater a drive-in movie night mm -hmm. so and i 
and that was just it was brilliant you know it's like okay yeah we went and we yeah. it. it was yeah. such it was an opportunity to gather even though we were separated we could gather and i think that you know that's such an important thing it's like we we get it that that we can't do what we normally do but let's focus on what we can do and i right. think that's what julia does all the time yeah. is yeah. focus on the positive yeah yeah it's great it's good so yeah well, thank you so much. I'm I'm really excited to have had the opportunity to talk about it and sort of spread the word about Safe Streets. And I just want to encourage anyone that is um, remotely interested, please take a look at um, the the website and get involved. Get get the emails coming to you. Understand and learn more about what what the um, program is doing in your community. And if there's not something there, you know, reach out and say, hey, we would like to be involved. We would like to get something started here. Um, I, I just think it's definitely something worth investing your time in. Yeah, I agree. Thank you so much, Jeff. All right. Thank you. Great, Great to, to talk, talk to you. To you.